Have you ever wondered about the mythology of Horus in ancient Egypt? If you have, you are not alone. In the vast tapestry of ancient Egyptian mythology, Horus stands as a majestic and revered figure embodying the principles of kingship, justice, and cosmic order. As the falcon-headed god associated with the sky and the sun, Horus played a pivotal role in the religious and political narrative of ancient Egypt, leaving an indelible mark on the cultural and spiritual heritage of the Nile. Horus, whose name means the distant one, or he who is above, has ancient origins, predating the unification of Upper and Lower Egypt. He is often depicted as a falcon or a man with a falcon head, symbolizing his connection to the sky and the divine. The Eye of Horus, a powerful symbol representing protection and healing, is a common theme in ancient Egypt. The myth of Horus is intricately linked with the Osiris myth, a central narrative in Egyptian mythology. Osiris, the god of the afterlife, was murdered by his jealous brother Seth, leading to a power struggle for the throne of Egypt. After Osiris' death, his wife Isis magically reassembled his body and conceived their son, Horus. As a young god, Horus grew up in secrecy, hidden from the wrath of Seth, who sought to eliminate any threat to his claim to the throne. The conflict between Horus and Seth became a cosmic battle representing the struggle between order and chaos, legitimacy and usurpation. Horus, symbolizing the rightful heir and the embodiment of justice, sought to avenge his father's death and reclaim the throne. The battles between Horus and Seth were epic, with the gods taking on various forms and strategies to gain the upper hand. The final judgment took place in the Divine Tribunal, presided over by the god Thoth where the hearts of the gods were weighed against the feather of Ma, the goddess of truth and justice. In the end, Horus emerged victorious, earning the right to rule as the rightful pharaoh of Egypt. The union of the divine principles embodied by Horus and the earthly authority of the pharaoh established the divine kingship, where the pharaoh was considered the living embodiment of Horus. Horus became an enduring symbol of divine kingship, with the reigning pharaohs claiming legitimacy by identifying themselves with the god. The pharaohs adopted the title of Horus' name, reinforcing their connection to the divine and their role as the protectors and rulers of Egypt. The worship of Horus was widespread, and various cult centers dedicated to the god were established across Egypt. The most famous of these was the Temple of Horus, a grand structure that reflected the gods' importance in the religious landscape. Festivals and rituals dedicated to Horus celebrated his victories and sought his blessings for the prosperity of the kingdom. Horus, the falcon god of divine kingship and justice, played a foundational role in the religious and political ideology of ancient Egypt. His mythology, intricately woven with the tales of Osiris and Seth, shaped the cultural identity and spiritual beliefs of the Egyptian civilization along the banks of the Nile. As a symbol of cosmic order and rightful rulership, Horus remains an enduring and revered figure in the annals of ancient Egyptian mythology. Thank you for your company as we seek why together. If you've learned anything new in this video or liked what you saw, please like and subscribe.